Welcome to Gorilla's Friday Challenge with Gorilla Test Papers. This brand new weekly series is designed to help you master all key topics in the SEAG specification. This week we will look at the topic of area. This is the first question. The question is asking what is the area of this square? Pause the video now to try it yourself. So let's get started. First, we need to know the equation for area. This will be the first top tip of the week. The equation for area is area equals length multiplied by width and is abbreviated as shown. We then want to use this equation and fill in our length and width using the dimensions shown on the diagram. So area equals six centimeters multiplied by six centimeters. Because this is a square, both sides are the same length. Therefore, when we multiply 6 cm by 6 cm, the answer is 36 cm squared. For our second question, it is asking what is the area of this rectangle? Pause the video now to try the question yourself. So let's get started. We know the equation for area, which is area equals length multiplied by width. Then we want to fill in our length and width using the dimensions shown on the diagram. So area equals seven centimeters multiplied by four centimeters. Therefore, seven centimeters multiplied by four centimeters is 28 centimeters squared. Question three asks, what is the area of this rectangle? Pause the video now to try it yourself. So let's get started. First, we need to know the equation for area, which is area equals length multiplied by width. Then we want to fill in our length and width using the dimensions shown on the diagram, which is area equals eight centimeters multiplied by half a centimeter. When we multiply eight centimeters by half a centimeter, this is simply another way of saying eight divided by two. So therefore the area equals four centimeters squared. Question 4 asks, what is the area of the triangle? Pause the video now to try the question yourself. First, we need to know how to calculate the area of a triangle. This will be the second top tip of the week. To calculate the area of a triangle, the equation is area equals half base multiplied by height. This is also abbreviated as shown. Now, we will take the dimensions from the diagram and put them into the triangle area equation, which is area equals half of eight centimeters multiplied by three centimeters. Therefore, after multiplying the eight centimeters by three centimeters, the new area equation is area equals half multiplied by 24 centimeters squared, which is just another way of saying 24 centimeters squared divided by two. So therefore, the overall area of the triangle is half of 24 centimeters squared, which is 12 centimeters squared. Question five asks us, what is the area of this shape? Pause the video now to try it yourself. So let's get into it. Since we have some missing dimensions, we first want to start by filling these in. Firstly, looking at the height of the shape, the full height is 9 centimeters, and we are given another height of 3 centimeters. So we minus the 3 centimeters from the 9 centimeters in order to find the missing one, which is 6 centimeters. Looking at the total width of the shape, which is 5 centimeters, we therefore minus the upper width dimension 2 centimeters from 5 centimeters in order to find the missing width, which is 3 centimeters. Since the shape shown is obscure, we have to break it down into shapes that we are familiar with in order to find the area. For this question, we will look at two different ways you could divide this shape into familiar shapes. In the first way, we are going to divide the shape as shown. We are going to name this one shape 1 and this one shape 2. First, we will understand that the total area of the shape equals the area of shape 1 plus the area of shape 2. To calculate the area of shape 1, we do area equals length multiplied by width. 
We then put the dimensions from the diagram into the equation. This shows area equals 6 cm multiplied by 3 cm. Therefore, the area of shape 1 equals 18 cm squared. Then, to find the area of shape 2, we do area equals length multiplied by width. And once again, we put the dimensions from the diagram into the equation, which shows the area equals 5 cm multiplied by 3 cm. Therefore, the area of shape 2 equals 15 cm squared. We now remember that the total area of the whole shape equals the area of shape 1 plus the area of shape 2. So therefore, the total area of the whole shape equals 18 cm squared plus 15 cm squared, which gives us 33 cm squared. Instead, if you cut the shape as shown here, this would be your solution to question 5. This is just another way to get the same answer in this question. Congratulations! You have now completed this week of Gorilla's Friday Challenge. If you're looking for more SEIG materials, head over to our site at www.gorillatestpapers.co.uk for all the resources you need. Don't forget to like this video and let us know how you did in the comments. How many did you get out of 5? We'd love to hear your score and any thoughts you have. See you next week for another session of Gorilla's Friday Challenge.